where should the horse's head be inside the turn? Okay, so you've got two different scenarios here, in my opinion. Where you would normally want the horse's head is just inside the turn, okay? That you can see half the orb of the eye on the inside. So that when you're turning, that horse's head is slightly inside. For a rollback, all of that, you want it like that. But then you get those horses that bury their front legs, okay, and they spin their backsides around their front front end. Now, those horses you would treat completely differently. You want their heads up the turn because you want to actually move the shoulders. You don't want them to bury the shoulders and get their backsides to spin around the shoulders. So there you would want to actually shorten the outside rein and have that horse's head slightly out of the turn so that you get it to move its shoulders round. And in that way, it's powering around from its back end. Otherwise, you're really losing a lot of time because it buries the front legs, spins the back end out, and now it's pulling with the front legs. It's paddling along. It's not powering out with the engine at the back with its back legs, pushing it through a turn. Um, through a rollback, through whatever kind of turn like that, it's pushing its backside out and you've lost the impetus from there. you at a standstill and now you've got to build up that, uh, that, that uh, momentum again. So if you've got horses that are correct, you want that head just inside the turn and you're seeing half the inside eye. If you've got horses that spin their backside out, use the outside and you want to get that head up out the turn and get the horse to move its shoulders around its backside. So that, that would be the, uh, the, the the way that I would look at that. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's great, Gav.